be in. It's an honor to represent Harmony. Uh, we started a, a neuroscience approach to helping folks and their children and their families deal with trauma and have adopted a lot of practices uh, that get us out of our heads and get us back into our bodies. And the brain, uh, from the bottom of the brain up to the top of the brain, uh, we find that all of us are just in our heads way too much and forget that there's a lot of healing that can go on in the body. So we're going to go through an exercise that we'll start out with some breathing, just some deep breathing. Uh, if you've done yoga, if you've done mindfulness work, you're very familiar with this, but I'm just going to uh, coach us through that. And then we're going to try a four, seven, eight breath, which may be a breathing technique that really um, engages and over engages the parasympathetic nervous system and really slows the body down, slows the heart rate, slows the blood pressure down. And then we're going to do a full body relaxation technique that I learned 30 years ago um, beyond that in, in undergrad from a psych professor and I've seen many replications of it since then. It's still a, a good technique and by the end of it, it's going to get a bit silly. Uh, when we get up to kind of tensing up our face and our necks and, and then relaxing, um, it's meant to be a little bit silly and to get you laughing, um, if not in a crowd, in a virtual crowd. So feel free to keep your cameras on so we can have fun with you. Or if you're not comfortable with that, turn your cameras off and just experience it wherever you are. So um, during this process, uh, just want you to be aware of what's going on with you. Um, if you have any issues with with breathing, if you have any pulmonary issues, just be mindful of that and how, how far you push yourself. If you have any uh, joint or muscle injuries when we get to certain parts of the body and I ask you to tense it up, just be mindful of that and be kind of gentle with yourself or just skip that part altogether. And if you find anything to be triggering or uncomfortable, just feel free to skip over that and just be aware of your breath. So the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is um, just take a couple of deep breaths, whatever that means to you. And then I'm gonna ease us into what I call some belly breaths. So let's take two or three and then I'll start coaching us through some deep belly breaths. And as you're breathing, just be aware of the sights and the sounds and the smells around you. Start to become aware of your body and your breath and how focusing on your breathing and not your thoughts feel to you. Then I'm going to ask you to practice uh, some belly breaths and some people who aren't used to this, I ask them to put one hand on their belly and maybe one hand across the chest and shoulder like this. And a good belly breath is breathing in and letting the air fill the belly first. Breathe more deeply, it fills the chest. If it's a really deep belly breath, you can even feel your shoulders rise in that order. So the belly goes out, the chest expands, and then maybe the shoulders even rise. So let's practice two or three of those deep belly breaths. Fill the belly and the chest. If it's a really deep breath, feel the shoulders rise. And you can breathe out your mouth through your nose. One last deep belly breath. And see if you feel or notice any sensations in your body that's changed, if your heart rate is lower, if you feel a bit more relaxed, if you uh, felt any tension relieved in your back or your shoulders. Now we're going to move into what's called the four, seven, eight breath. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a really deep belly breath for four counts, and I'll count the first couple for us. We're going to hold our breath for seven counts. And then we're going to release our breath for eight counts. And you really want to push your breath all the way out in those eight counts. And we're only going to do about three of these. 
So take a good deep belly breath for four counts. Here we go. Hold for seven. Release for eight. Again, breathe in for four. Hold for seven. Release for eight. The last one you do on your own counts. I want you to just notice any changes you feel in your body, your heart rate, your breathing rate. And we're going to take this opportunity to start focusing on our, our bodies. And we're going to do a body scan from the toes up. And I want you to take just a few seconds and be aware of your left big toe. We're going to get that specific just so we can focus our thoughts on something. So think about your left big toe and what it feels like. If you have any feeling or sensation there or awareness of that. And if you don't, that's okay. We don't usually think about how our toe feels unless we stub it or something goes bad. So now that your awareness is there, I just want you to Think about your feet and notice how they feel, notice how they're positioned. Some people have their, only their toes on the floor, some people like their full feet on the floor. You may be in socks or shoes or slippers or flip-flops or sandals. Just notice how your feet feel, whatever they're in or whatever they're on. Now move up to the ankles and be aware of how your ankles feel. And as we're talking about these parts, you may want to kind of move them very gently. Move on up to your calves and be aware of how your calves feel. Your knees, if there's any soreness there, tension. Move on up to your thighs and be aware of how your thighs feel if you're sitting on a comfy chair or an office chair uh, feels to sit there in that space. I'm going to ask you to move on up to your, your belly and your back and just be aware of that tension that we have of balance where our belly and our back keep us upright. And then notice if there's any tension in any of those places. Just feel free to kind of move around and wiggle around to relieve any of that tension you feel. Come on up to the chest and shoulders and just be aware of how they feel and notice if there's any tension or if they're relaxed. Again, just kind of wiggle around and get yourself in a comfortable position. We're going to move down the arms and think about how your upper arms feel, your triceps and your biceps. Uh, your elbow joint feels move down to your forearm into your hands where we can carry a, a, a lot of tension in our hands and you may want to wiggle your hands or stretch your palms out then we're going to come back up to our neck area and we many of us carry so much tension in the top of our shoulders or our necks and just be aware of how your shoulders and necks feel. And then come on up to your face and notice your chin and notice around your mouth. Sometimes we carry a lot of tension there. Notice if your tongue is pressing against your teeth or if it's relaxed and maybe touching the lower teeth. 
And then be mindful of your, your cheeks and your eyes and even your eyebrows, your forehead, all the way up to the top of your head. You may have noticed there's parts of your body that feel relaxed. You may not have noticed any sensation. You may notice some tension there. So just be aware of what you've noticed as we're moving through this exercise. So we're going to move back down to our toes again. And what I'm going to ask you to do is so you feel comfortable is to tense up the part of the body and hold it for a count of three or five, whichever you're comfortable with, and then release it and just kind of wiggle it around and stretch it out, do whatever you need to release the tension that we've intentionally created there. I'm gonna ask you to, to curl your toes up pretty hard and hold that for either three or five counts. And then when you're ready, just release that curl and just wiggle your toes. Try to wiggle all of them. And we'll do that one more time. Curl your toes up and hold them for three or five. Then release your toes and wiggle them around. So now we're going to create some tension in our calf muscles. And if you're seated, the best way to do that is to come up on your toes. Uh, and just press like you're standing on your tiptoes and create some tension. Make you lift up the sides of your calves or in the back for three or five seconds. And then release that. And um, to counter that, you may want to turn your feet up and stretch out that calf muscle. We're going to do that again. Tense up your calves on your toes. And then release and counter tension by bringing your toes up like this. We're going to move on up to the thigh area. So I want you to tense up your thighs. It's one of the biggest muscles in your body. So like you're squatting down, getting ready to jump, holding that for three or five counts. And you release. And you can kind of shake your legs out where you're sitting. One more time, tense up your thighs. Release and shake them out. We're going to move up to our abdomen, to our belly. And the way we're going to tense that up is like you're getting ready to get a punch in the stomach or somebody's getting ready to tickle you and you, you just tense up. So tense up those muscles in your abdomen and hold them. And then release, taking a big deep belly breath is a good way to stretch those muscles out. One more time, I'm gonna ask you to tense up those abdominal muscles, hold them. And now release, maybe a big deep belly breath. We're gonna focus on our lower back. So a good way to tense up those muscles is just to sit up as high as you can in a slight arc. Feel that tension in your lower back. And when you're ready, just release. And sit back down normally. Again, a deep breath may help release those muscles in your back. One more time, we're going to tense up the lower back by sitting up straight, slight arch back. And release. Just relax back down. Good. Uh, we're going to move up to our upper arms now. And the best ways to do that is to act like you're sitting on a bench and pushing yourself up or you're, you're getting up out of the pool. And so you're going to straighten those elbows to almost perfectly straight and put your palms flat and tense up those triceps. 
And then release. And bring your arms up to help give some counter to that. And then one more time, we're going to tense up those triceps. And release, and you may want to shake those triceps out, rub them down. We're going to move to our biceps. So for that, we're going to act like we're going to pick up something really heavy and we're holding it. And tensing up those biceps like you're making muscles. You press somebody. And then you release and just maybe shake your arms out down beside you. Again, tense up those biceps. And release and shake those arms out. We're going to move to our forearms, and this is uh, we're just going to start getting a little bit silly with some of our techniques. But if you laugh or giggle at yourself or somebody else, that relieves tension as well and releases some of the cortisol from our body. So we're going to tense up the forearm muscles. So we're going to make lobster claws in like this and tense up those forearm muscles. When you're ready, release and stretch those hands up for the release. And again, we're going back to lobster claws. Tense up those forearm muscles. And when you're ready, release and shake them out here. And we're going to tense up our fingers and our palms, just squeezing your hand like you have something in there you're holding on to. So squeeze those for a three to five count. And then you're going to Relax your fingers, wiggle them around, sparkle fingers. And again, we're going to tense those up one more time. And release. Good. So we're going to move up to the top of our shoulders and start a little bit of work on our neck. So for this, uh, to bring the tension, we're going to try to bring our shoulders up as close to our ears as possible. So bring your shoulders up as close to your ears as possible. Hold them and when you're ready, release and you may want to give them a gentle roll, relax them. Now again, bring your shoulders up. And release and roll them. One more thing for the upper back and the neck. We're going to create tension in those muscles right up between our shoulder blades by throwing our shoulders back and see if we can hold an orange or an apple between our shoulder blades there. Create that tension there. And then release, you may want to pull them forward and again, roll them around and roll them back. One more time for that. We're going to pull the shoulders back like we're holding something between our shoulder blades. And release when you're ready. Roll them forward or back. Now this is where the silliness and fun really comes in. I'm going to ask you to just tense up your neck. And so you're going to almost grit your teeth. Don't put your teeth together, but you, you want kind of what I call the lizard neck. And you really tense it out like this. And then when you're ready, release it. And you can gently go from side to side with it or roll it forward if that's helpful to you. So one more time, we're going to tense up our necks and Push out those tendons. And release. Roll your neck. And so we're going to start 
start working on our face. Uh, this is where it's going to get fun and funny and just enjoy it and enjoy the faces other people make if you choose to, to stay on. Um, so this is called the lemon and the lion. So I'm going to demonstrate first and then I'll have you do it. The lemon is like you take a big bite of the most sour lemon you've ever had and you're going to just squinch up your whole face, your eyes, your nose, your lips are going to come together like that. And the release is going to be the lion where we're like a big lazy lion on the savanna yawning. Uh, and you can even growl if you'd like. Uh, open up those eyes really wide. So let's do that. First, we're going to start out with the lemon for a count of three or five. Here we go. The lemon. And release to the lion. One more time, the lemon. And now the lion. Okay. The last one is a focus on our eyebrows and our forehead. So what we're gonna do first is to bring our eyebrows down. We're very skeptical. I'm very curious, cynical. Those people of my day and age, we're going to ask that question, what you talking about, Willis? And put that eyebrows down. And then the release is going to be coming up like you're surprised. So again, we're going to go with eyebrows down for a count of three or five. Push them down as hard as you can. Now we're going to raise up our eyebrows and then we're going to finish this by taking three deep belly breaths at your own rate or if you'd like to do a couple of four, seven, eight breaths on your own, we'll do that. So let's take some deep breaths together. As you're breathing, notice any changes in your body. If those places that maybe were tense were a little bit more relaxed, if you've noticed something in your body you didn't notice before. One last deep breath. Push this one all the way out. Let your body totally relax as you exhale. And find a place of comfort and just sit quietly and notice what's around you. So, Elle, that's all I have. Again, thank you for this opportunity, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Happy Mindful Monday. And I hope that that you can take with you as you're dealing with the, the challenges and the stressors of this new day and age. So thanks very much. Thank you, everyone. Say thank you. And you can put it in the chat. I especially like the, what's this called? Lobster? That's the lobster calls. Yeah, because yeah. you type so much. So I got to stretch my hands out. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> From all the typing and Zooming we're doing. So thank you so much. Sam says she wishes everybody could have seen her lion face. <laughs> so I kept my camera on so you guys could see my very animated eyebrows that I have. But thank you, thank you, everyone, for joining today. Thank you, Keith.